hello friends welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to share my personal experience how i transitioned from the absolute non-technical field to the data science field then so very first part is start it it's it is it all start in back 2015 when i graduated so first of all i would say like uh, i graduated like uh, in electronics and telecommunications engineering uh, it was my degree and uh, uh, it is in Pune University actually so in 2015 and after that I started looking out for job because in placement I didn't get any job I had a backlog in my last semester and because of that I was not able to crack or not able to be eligible for any placement that is another part anyway so after graduation i started looking out for job in the core field core field in the sense like in uh, in electronics and embedded system so i try to you know get into that field but the jobs and the recruiter were expecting some sort of expertise and experience and uh, that is the reason why I didn't get any opportunity and I had no clue like what are the different ways to get into the electronics field and then I started looking out into the networking and telecom domain because it was the part of my degree so I got a job in a small scale company called uh, Gemini communication and my designation was like uh, radio frequency engineer so it was a core technical job for telecom perspective and if I say the data science perspective it is totally non-tech job and it is not at all related with data science so I did that job around eight months and uh, in that job on day-to-day -day basis I used to communicate with the different end customers to grant the access access of premises in order to do uh, Feasibility. So feasibility, it was a project of a lease line where I used to visit the customer location and do certain feasibility test. Feasibility test in the sense like the, to check the signal strain so that we can <coughs> install a lease line connection at customer end. So it was very basic RF job. Uh, Sometimes I used to climb. Uh, radio towers, mobile towers in order to install uh, these line devices it is Ymax and all it is different thing so I was not happy with that job because uh, I was not feeling something I am doing meaningful in my life so I decided to do a master degree like pursue the master's degree I wanted to do the M Tech basically so I took the gap of around 8 to 9 months and I started preparing for the GATE exam. GATE is like, you know, graduate aptitude test of engineering. So I, I used to study every day and solve the papers and all that thing. And my intention was to do the masters in, in at least autonomous college, not in the deemed university. So I got a good rank but uh, that rank was not sufficient to get enrolled or shortlist for any master's program especially in autonomous college so i dropped that idea like my eight month was wasted so after that thing i again switched back to the corporate domain in again i start started looking out for job in telecom and networking and I got a job in the Tata Communications as an associate engineer. It is a third party payroll job and uh, the work is like to maintain the fiber optic network, to configure the end to end network setup for the live media services. It was fun to work job. Lots of learning was there and lots of things I actually learned in that job. And uh, apart from that, I used to create the ad hoc report. In daily cases daily weekly monthly reporting and all that thing 
so i found it interesting because reporting was something i never done in my life but when i started doing it i found it interesting so i started looking out for the scope in the reporting because again the job that i was doing is totally support based job and i was not a more interested into the networking domain so i i had lost my interest actually so i started looking out for the alternate option to switch my career so it was back in 2017 i had a one and a half years of experience in tata communication and uh, i started looking out for a different areas where i can switch out oh, because i was not in, at all interested into the uh, software domain like development and all that thing because that was not at all part of my education and bachelor's and i i was not that much educated at that time <coughs> so later on i started looking out for alternate option and uh, the data science advertisement came across the internet because at that time it was in boom still it is in boom but at that time it was in boom so i started learning the microsoft excel to learn how to do the advanced reporting and uh, slowly slowly i see there are multiple tools like programming language is also there so i picked up the one tool called tableau for reporting purpose i started learning it i started uh, building a basic dashboard as a gaston project on my own uh, this was uh, in in 2017 so i got a good hands on on microsoft excel and uh, started applying for the data analysis job so later on in azure technologies i got a call and uh, they want someone with uh, networking background but they want to do uh, they wanted to do uh, some sort of operational projects uh, some sort of data analysis but the person should have some sort of networking background because the project that they were running is based on the networking projects so uh, networking products uh, it was uh, on prem and cloud products and all so a guy interviewed me and he was quite uh, happy with my interview because <coughs> he found like i have a networking background like i have worked in a networking domain telecom domain and i want to switch to the analytics field and uh, they wanted a same sort of person to to handle that task so i joined jensa technology as a data analyst and uh, it initial phase of my career in a sensor it was uh, quite good because uh, i got opportunity to work as a data analyst here and uh, work was not so much technical in, in initial phase because they want someone to work on microsoft excel and to to be able to communicate with the customer so this is what i had already with me in back tata communication so i applied the same experience on my zensa project it it went well and uh, i started learning the advanced techniques in excel in data analytics slowly slowly i started learning the advanced tableau and started preparing the advanced level of dashboards so now i had the title of data analyst but now i wanted to switch or move into core domain of data analytics so where <coughs> i found like i need to build up my skills first before applying for job or approaching for relevant project so i started building my linkedin network i started looking out for the people who already working in the data science field and i was checking like what kind of skill set they do have and <coughs> all that thing so i figure out like majority of job need uh, only three skills the skill number one is uh, good hands on experience or knowledge on sql scripting second one is like good understanding of any visualization tool and the third one is like good hands on on managing or maintaining the microsoft excel files 
these three skills excel sql and any one visualization tool not necessarily tableau tableau is just my choice and it is not like you can pick up any tool you want so but these three skill were the common skill in every job when i was checking so i started learning the sql and in sql i started with the absolute scratch like in w3 school i logged in and tried to do some sort of scripting so i started learning sql i put myself on uh, intermediate level in some some months and i started solving the puzzles on the hacker rank so now i have on the five star in sql that means i have some more than intermediate level knowledge in sql to write a sql script to to write a complex functions store procedures windows function and all that thing in sql as a data analyst and uh, in tableau also i learned the advanced tableau i started doing the experiment i created around 40 dashboards in tableau to explore the different areas and uh, that's it like it was part of my day to day learning and as a part of excel i already had a good understanding of excel in my current project in zensar so it didn't i didn't work a lot on that part because it was part of my day to day life again so it took me around 3 years to get a very good hands on on these three things tableau sql and excel so in this 3 year i slowly slowly started learning these three skills and did a some sort of expertise like above intermediate level after 3 year i started applying for the job based on these three skill when you were these three skill mention i used to apply for that job i started attempting the interviews so few interviews at initial phase i was not able to crack in because i was absolute a uh, fresher for advanced level of job although i have a good good experience as a data analyst of 3 years of experience of data analytics but uh, to do a more technical job i need some sort of hands on so it took some time so luckily in zensar itself i got a project where uh, i used to work on tableau and sql so i grabbed that thing i played around with that part and i just modified or manipulated my resume accordingly so it is okay to be lie in resume but up to some extent only if you are confident enough to answer the technical things then you should you must write some sort of lie only 10 to 20% is allowed not more than that so i modified my resume and i again started applying for the job now the thing is like i was shortlisted i used to face the interview but again failure i was not able to crack the interview so i was totally disappointed on this part so one day i decided to to record my interview so i started recording my interview and whenever i got rejected i used to revisit my recording and try to note down the question and the answers of that interview and uh, i validated that answers on internet and i found i am i am answering correctly but i am not giving the full accurate answer so i worked on that part once i worked on that part i realized like i am shortlisting for the interview and i'm shortlisting for the next round also so i start i kept repeating that thing i got my first offer in october 2021 it was of uh, 7 lpa i had a package of 3.5 lpa and my first offer was 7 lpa so once i got that offer i immediately resigned from the zensor and uh, i had a 3 month of notice period so you will not believe but uh, i had faced too much interviews and in 3 months i cracked five another jobs and those were highly technical jobs and very high package like literally i my current offer is of 
12 LPA 12, 12 LPA 12 plus LPA I cannot give the range but uh, I started repeating the things that I had practiced I used to record my interview and I prepared my answers and I worked on myself a lot to, to correct myself I slowly 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 corrected myself and practically it took me around one year to to get good hands on all this apart so after getting a job i started doing more advanced level courses in tableau because the job that i got it was totally a tableau this job and a sql job so i am able to manage it currently because i have very good understanding of these three skills and it is not taking a huge burden on me because although the my current job is a data engineer job although it is title as a data engineer but more of my work is on tableau and sql and slowly slowly i have started learning the data pipelining aws azure these are my upcoming things that i am going to learn in this year in order to get more technical job into the data engineering because it is something more close to the data engineering so from moving from the rf engineer to the data engineering it took me around fire and uh, it was a fantastic journey i learned every day and tried to correct myself every day so eventually i am landed on the good place and Finally, I am doing a data science job. It is not like uh, implementing a machine learning algorithm and doing that thing. Somewhere I am helping machine learning engineers to do their work. So I am in the field of data science. I am not a data scientist, but uh, yeah, my final destination is the data scientist. And uh, one day I will definitely achieve that thing. And uh, you can also achieve that thing if you follow the consistency in your life. So this is all about my entire journey. How I became a data engineer from absolute no technical background. So if you found this video useful, you can like and share your thoughts into the comment section also if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section you can share this video with your friend if you can find this useful for them who are working on transition of their current job profile to the data science field and if anything is missed in my video or if you have any additional question that i have not covered then definitely you can ask i will try to make another video on that because this video is unscripted video i have not prepared anything because everything shared in this video is based on my actual experience i might have missed some points somewhere for example how did i study how did i practice and all that thing so soon I will make video on that also. Hope you found this useful. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.